the inner right palm on your belly and the palm on your chest. Sitting up tall, continuing nice relaxed breathing, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, getting ready for deep breathing, inhale, fill your belly, your midriff, your chest, exhale, empty chest, midriff, belly, Inhale, exhale, three more in your own count, smooth, relaxed, inhale, followed by smooth, relaxed, exhale. One last. Gently release your palms. Dropping your chin down, drop your palms together. Cupping them onto your eyes with a few blinks. Gently massage your face. Slowly open your eyes and welcome to today's practice. Okay. Let's come into some fundamental stretches. Let's change the legs. Roll the shoulders, extend your hands out. As you inhale, you're gonna take your hands up, relax the shoulders. Remember to lift up from the elbow, shoulders dropping back, lift up from the side trunk. Inhale, exhale, inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna twist to your left. Dropping your right palm on your left knee, extend the shoulders, inhale, exhale, twist, inhale, exhale, sitting up tall, extend your shoulders, looking over your left shoulder, last one, exhale, as you inhale, come back, exhale, extend your hands out. As you inhale, take your hands back up, relax the shoulders. Exhale, twisting to your right, dropping your left palm on your right knee, cupping your right hand behind, sitting up tall. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, two more. Sitting up tall, last one. Exhale, as you inhale, come back. Exhale, relax. Inhale, coming back up. Relax the shoulders, dropping your left palm onto your line with your hip onto the mat. As you inhale, slide forward, grounding your palm, gently bend your elbow or dropping it down without lifting the opposite hip or dropping the shoulder forward. Coming into that beautiful lateral stretch, lifting up on both the side trunks, looking up. Grounding your right hip, right fingertips reaching forward, last exhale. As you inhale, gently coming back, exhale. Next inhale, coming back up, relax your shoulders, drop your right palm, ground the palm firmly. As you inhale, slide forward, gently micro bend or grounding the elbow, pushing the left shoulder back, grounding the left hip, feeling that beautiful lateral stretch on the left. Last two, last one, as you inhale, coming back, exhale, release, coming in, getting ready for Adam Kavirasan, sitting on your heels, knees apart, cup your hands forward, roll your shoulders back, lifting the center chest, inhale, as you exhale, you fold forward, tippy fingers, walk. Avoid rounding your spine, roll the shoulders back, lift the center chest, inhale. Exhale, coming down with your chest to chin. If this is where you feel that this is where you can hold a flat back without rounding, hold it here if you can. If you can further take your chest and your chin down, cupping your hands, flatten your back. Hips keep pushing back on the heels. 
and last exhale, relax your hands for those who can rest with chest and chin. Else you can tuck your chin into your chest, drop your forehead, flatten your back, pushing your scapulas down into the chest. Breathe through the nostrils, seal your lips. Next inhale, gently raise your chin, slowly walk your hands back, pushing yourself up, coming into your tabletop. Now for those who are new, drop your elbows right in front of your knees, take one stand forward, idly you reach into your tabletop, ground the ankles, pointing finger at 12 and your fingers ground, inhale, Exhale, activate the calf muscles, grounding the shin bones. Let's begin as you inhale, arch the back, open the chest, look up. As you exhale, tuck your chin, push your shoulder blades away, draw your navel in. Continue, inhale, arch the back, open the chest, look up. Exhale, tuck the chin, push the shoulder blades away from the ears, away from each other, navel in. Inhale. Exhale. One last inhale. Exhale. Coming back to your neutral table. From your, you know, come and bring your shoulders in line with your shoulders. Push your shoulder blades away. Draw the in. Extend your feet back, getting your hips towards your heels. And drawing the navel in, from a high plank, inhale, drop your knees, arch your back. As you exhale, bring your chest and chin down, rolling the shoulders back. As you slide forward, you know, arch your back, come up. Maybe you are here, maybe you can lift up. Exhale, coming down. From your inhale, tuck your toes, push yourself up. And gently drop back into your modified child's pose. Tuck your toes, it's back on your heels. Breathe through your nose, even your lips. Okay, from here, coming into your tabletop position. Okay, now we're going to extend our right leg back. Lift the left, right leg without rotating the right hip or the thigh. Keep your thigh internally rotated. Inhale. Exhale. Keep pointing your toes. Inhale. As you exhale, you will bring your right leg forward in line, if possible, or wherever you're comfortable. And coming back. Inhale. Exhale. Coming forward. Inhale. Going back. Leaving your core muscles in place. Three more. Exhale down, inhale back. Exhale down, inhale back. Exhale, inhale, coming back, ground your right knee. Extending your left toe out, falling. Activate all the muscles kind of coming into their strength. Pushing shoulder blades, inhale. Exhale, coming forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Slowly coming back. Drop. Extend your legs back from your high plank. Vinyasa. Inhale. Arch. Drop your knees at your back. Exhale. Chest and chin. Inhale. Slide forward. Exhale down, inhale, tuck your toes, push yourself up and up. Breathing through the nostrils. From here, let's ground the palms firmly, keep your shoulders externally rotated. Now lift your forehead, lift your elbows and keeping your core intact. You're going to lift your knees up, engaging your quad strength. Look at your navel, lift up, chest down. From your gently pressing up, let's pedal the feet. Inhale, 
Exhale and his pedaling movement in your down dog. And last one. Exhale. From your grounding your feet, look at your navel. As you inhale, take your right leg up, keeping your hip internally rotated, your thigh internally rotated. And as you exhale, bend your knee, place your right leg in between your palms, ground. Flatten out the left toe. As you inhale, you come up. As you exhale, you push back. You can tuck your toe or point. Going with the flat back forward. Now for those who aren't comfortable going free flowing, we will also have a variation of the blocks. Those new into the journey, inhale. Press your left thigh into the floor, lift the center chest. Exhale, go forward with the flat back, not around the spine. Push your shoulder back, point your toe down and coming forward. Inhale, lift the center chest, don't lean forward. Exhale, you can tuck your toes, that's too difficult, or point. Working free flow, inhale. Exhale, last one. Inhale. Exhale. Lovely. From here. Let's take the palm, bend the knee, take the palms by the side, tuck your toe, lift your heel and push, activating the back leg. Beautiful. Holding that. Push your shoulder blades away for three, two, and one. Gently moving back into your high plank. Coming into your vinyasa, inhale, drop your knees at your back, exhale, chest and chin, rolling your shoulders back, slide forward, engaging glutes, lift up, draw your navel in, exhale down, inhale, tuck your toes, exhale, relax. Coming into your shishankasan or modified child's pose. Next, inhale, ground your fingers, your palms, push your triceps away from your ears, gently lift the forehead, the elbows, and then the knees, activating the quads, making a nice, slow, and low entry into your down dog. You can adjust with your feet, you can always leave your knees bent as long as your chest is down, hip is up. Alright, from your inhale, lift your left leg up once again, keeping the left thigh internally rotated. Breathe, equally pressing through and next exhale, bend your left knee, bring your left leg in between. If your leg stays back, hold and pull. From your flat of the right toe, push your right thigh down into the floor. And let's come into some movement from your inhale, take your hands up, relax the shoulders. Exhale, go forward and down. Inhale, exhale, coming into your half split. Inhale, relax the shoulders. Exhale, and last one. Exhale. So you inhale, bend your knee, ground your palms, push your shoulder blades away, tuck your big toe, and you will lift the knee up. Push the heel back. Avoid overshooting your left knee over your heel. Try and press into your floor with your palms. And heel back. Push, push, push. Activate the strength in the back leg. And three, two, and one. Slowly coming back. Inhale, drop your knees. Roll your shoulders back. This time, aiming for your forehead, followed by the chest. As you slide forward, roll your shoulders, Bhujangasana. Exhale down. Inhale, tap your toes, push yourself back. Exhale back to child's pose. Alright, from here, let's once again press your palms down. Let's make a low entry here. Push the shoulders away. Lift up into your down dog. 
Okay, inhale, bend your knees, chin up. You can walk or jump and coming into Malasana. Now, for those who are new, uh, ideally your toes will tend to roll up on the outside, point outside. See if you can lift your toes slightly in. And let's try and sit now. Some of you might find this challenging. Okay, you feel this is happening. For those who are with the heels lifting, you can sit down, use your blocks and try and lift. And use your blocks for support. For those who are on two knees, take your elbows and suck onto the soft part of the inner knees. Get your namaste, draw your tailbone and lift the center chest. And breathe. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Next inhale. You can take your hands forward. Okay, now let's go for front toe taps. For those with the blocks, you can leave your hands on the blocks. Inhale. Left knee forward. Come back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now remember, it's not an internal rotation. You're going straight and back. Those with the hands free. 12 o'clock. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Going together. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Okay. Coming back into your malasana. For those who are comfortable with your propos, only those who have been practicing, who know the foundations, can lift up from here into your crow or simply walk your legs back. Inhale, drop your knees at your back. Exhale, chest and chin. Inhale, arching the back, coming up, Bhujangasana. Exhale, down. Inhale, tap your toes. Exhale, relax. Next, exhale, lifting up, back into your down dog. Inhale, let's come and lift the right leg up. We we'll move into a little standing jump. As you exhale, bend your right knee, place your right leg once again in between your palms. Getting ready for a bit of variations in are warrior one. Now, those who are new, you can move your legs slightly out. Try and ground the heel at an angle. Keep your front toe grounding. Remember to get your right thigh parallel if possible. Keeping your torso square. Keep pushing in. Back leg strong. And inhale. Keeping the front toe grounding. Both quads strong. And you can either come up into a namaste or leave a part. Avoid leaving your hip upward. Rotate your left thigh internally. Bring your right hip down. Lift the center chest. Breathe. You can also leave your hands parallel. And last exhale coming down. From here, turn back. Inhale, lift your left heel. As you take your right hand up, all the way. And last two. Look up at the tip of your right fingers. Exhale, coming back. Ground your right palm in front of your right leg. And from here, gently moving up. Breathe, left shoulder pushing back. And last exhale, coming back. Take your hand on the outside. Moving into your vinyasa. Inhale, knees at your back. Exhale, chest and chin. Inhale, roll the shoulders. Exhale, tap. Inhale, tap your toes. Exhale, relax. Next, exhale, lifting up into your down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg. Point, point, point. Exhale, bringing your left leg forward. All right, now from here, increase the distance for those who are new. Drop your heel down without keeping the back leg sloppy. Let the strength into the back quad. Keep your big toe grounding, front quad engaged. 
keep your left knee and heel in one line and left hip and thigh and parallel to the floor. From your rotator torso down towards the floor, keeping the back leg strong, front toe grounding, inhale, coming up into your warrior. Lifting your center chest, side trunk, bringing the left hip down. Breathe through your nose, back leg strong. Last one. As you exhale, coming down, ground. Okay, from here, keeping your right palm grounding, you can lift your right heel in here. Take your left hand up, push the left shoulder back, breathe. Next exhale, bringing the left palm down and inhale, taking your right hand up on the inside of the left hand. Exhale, coming down, press your palms, pushing your leg back, inhale, drop your knees, exhale, chest and chin and relax. Make a pillow with your palms, tuck your toes on the inside, heels out, or vice versa. Getting ready for some back bends here. Okay, from here. Let's come back, slide your feet together. You know, come up and get your elbows right under your shoulders, ground your palms, open the chest, rolling the shoulders, draw your navel in, lifting the ribcage. Keep your chin slightly tucked back, open the chest, breathe through your nose. Keep pushing the shoulders back, no allowing the elevation or dropping forward. Open the chest, breathe. And last exhale, slowly coming back, make a pillow, turn your head the other way and relax. Now, let's slide the feet together. You know, leave your hands in line with your crown slightly outward. You know, roll your shoulders back, pointing finger at 12, keeping the shoulders back, keeping the pelvic grounded, engaged, the glutes engaged, ankles grounding. As you inhale, you come up. Don't allow the shoulders to lift up. Push your shoulders back, open the chest, breathe. Keep engaging the core muscles, drawing your ribcage in, breathing through the nostrils. Last exhale, slowly coming down and relax, breathe through the nostrils. Remember back bends also being heart openers, chest openers. Try and breathe through the practice, taking the deepest breaths of your day. Okay, coming in. With your palms in line with your chest. Roll the shoulders back. Slide your feet together. Now, when you come into a simple Bhujangasana, as long as you keep your shoulders depressed and retracted, as you inhale, engaging the glutes, lifting up. Breathe. And last three. Keep the shoulders back, no allowing this or elbows up, elbows to the chest. And last exhale, coming down. Okay, relax. We'll work through these two variations once again, a little differently. This time, keeping your hands in line with your palms, slide your feet together. Come up on the tip of your fingers. Roll the shoulders back, cup your hands. As you inhale, come up. Open the chest, breathe through the nose. And three more. Exhale, coming down, relax. Seal your lips, breathe through your nose. Ah. 
Okay, come and slide your feet together. Second variation and Bhujangasana. Get your hands in line with your chest. Once again, coming up onto the tip of your fingers, rolling the shoulders back, keeping your elbows in. Now, let's come and engage the glutes and inhale. Lift up as much as you're comfortable without lifting your sh shoulders towards your ears. Push your shoulders back, breathe. Last one, keep your navel drawing in. Exhale, release and relax. Okay, let's go for striking cobra. Right, you're going to get your hands in line with your chest, roll your shoulders back, slide your feet together, and from your inhale, coming up into your cobra. Exhale, dropping back. You can also go flat feet, however, you're comfortable. As you can inhale, try and slide as low as possible, rolling the shoulders back, come up. Exhale, going back. And last one, inhale, exhale. All right, slowly walk your hands back, pull yourself up, we come into a last back bend for the day before we come into a little inversion for those who are into a regular practice. Roll the shoulders back, interlock your fingers, Tuck your tailbone in and engage your pelvic muscles. Flatten your ankles, roll the shoulders, interlock your hands, tuck your chin into your chest. As you inhale, you're going to push your hip forward and open the chest. Breathe, inhale, exhale, two more. Last one. Same in here, coming back. All right, from here. Let's get ready for some inversion practice for those who are comfortable. Uh, those who aren't, we'll work through some basic foundations of uh, elbow planks. So those who are new into the practice, you're going to drop from your tabletop, elbows dropping down, pan your fingers, push your shoulder blades away from each other, shoulders stacking on your elbows. You're going to walk your legs back with the upper hip, doing these funny things up or sinking down or arching the back. Remember to keep your body one straight line. Drawing the navel in, don't let it sink in. Push the shoulder blades away. And hold here for up to five breaths and work through three sets each. Once you're all done, you can relax. For those who would like to work into your hands, headstand practice. Let's continue forward, hold, drop your elbows, interlock your fingers, thumbs facing up. You're going to come and drop your crown down, support the back of your head. Tuck your toes, walk towards your face and whichever entry you're comfortable into, move into your headstand, pushing shoulder blades away. Point your toes up, draw the navel in, the ribcage in. And stay here for a few breaths, breathing through the nostrils. Keep drawing your energies inwards towards your median, pointing your toes up. Breathe. Keeping your drishti into a nice peripheral gaze or a fixed point, whatever works for you. Maybe the tip of your nose. <laughs> Alright, whenever you're ready, Start making a nice, slow, gentle, controlled and smooth exit. Dropping down, drop your knees whenever you're ready and gently drop the head. You can turn your head to one side, then the other. Drop your forehead down, relax. Gently push yourself up. Coming up, let's move into a gentle bridge and let go into a sarvanga set before we go to club pose and then a gentle twist before we close. So, 
let's bend our knees, keep your knees hip hip distance. For those who are new to the practice, this could be a better variation or option modification uh, to your shoulder stance. Alright, from here, you're going to drop your hands by the hips, roll your shoulders back and down. Keeping your feet hip with distance, inhale, grounding the feet, lifting up, don't allow the hip to sink in, lift up, don't allow the knees to drop in, roll your thighs internally, and lifting your hip up, chest to the chin, breathe through your nose. If you'd like to, you can come and support your lower back or your hips, or else just grounding your palms, stay here for a few breaths. Those working through variations, you can hold for five breaths each right leg up. And then after that five breaths, you can work through left. Ensure your hip doesn't drop in, keep lifting. And whenever you are done, you can relax. Those who are comfortable through your shoulder stance can continue forward. Roll your shoulders as you inhale and lift your hip up. And just adjust it, don't worry with the corrections. Okay, just adjust it. From here, once you're stable, bend your knees, drop your knees towards your head and get your hands close, elbows as close as possible, come back and support your lower back, tuck the hip in and point the toes up, pushing your chest to your chin, hip doesn't drop back, tuck the tailbone, toes pointing up, breathe. Okay, from your inhale, exhale, right leg coming down, left pointing, don't let the left drop forward. Inhale, come back, exhale, left leg, inhale back, exhale, both the legs down. For those who are hovering, can hang in your support. Those who can reach down, interlock your fingers, release your back, your hands on the back, get your wrists down. You can keep your toes flattened for a few breaths. Let's try and tuck. Slowly coming back, support your back, come halfway through, or you can release your hands. Use them as a set of bricks and gently pull back. Again, to your chest, relax. Gently rock right to left, release the lower back if there's any strain. Okay, from your keep your knees hugging, get your right hand over your left knee, keep your left hand in line with your shoulder grounding, gently drop your knees to the right turn and look over your left shoulder with your right palm gently grounding the knees in a gentle rotation in the face, breathing through the nostrils and last one. Inhale, come back. Extend your right hand out, cross your left hand over and gently drop onto the left and grounding your knees. Let your waist rotate to the right, right shoulder grounding, breathing through your nostrils, looking at the tip of your fingers. Last one. Exhale as you inhale, come back. Okay, let's get ready for some Shavasana. You're going to come with feet apart, hands apart. For those who have a bolster or a box, use them under your thighs or your knees just to keep the lower back grounding. Feet apart, hands apart. Roll the shoulders, open the chest. Gently close your eyes, let your fingers curl in, let your toes naturally drop on either sides. Leaving your eyes closed, smooth, relaxed, breathing through the nostrils. Turning your attention inwards, slowing down your breath, relaxing the body and the mind.
observing your breath passing in and out through the nostrils, observing the movement of the breath in your belly, in your chest, in your torso. Going down your thoughts, relaxing your body on the tip of your toes, the tip of your fingers, to the tip of your hair. Going down your thoughts, calming your feelings, your emotions more relaxed. Body relaxed, mind at peace, fully relaxed, relaxed, completely relaxed. Slowly taking your time whenever you're ready, wiggle your fingers and your toes. Slide your feet together, interlock your hands, give a nice long stretch, turn your palms around, point your toes, flex your toes and release. Gently bend your knees, turn on to one side, make a pillow with your palms, your shoulders. Slowly leaving your eyes closed, push yourself up with your top hand, come into a nice seated position. Leaving your chin down to your chest, sitting up tall, joining your palms together. Staying with your breath, thanking yourself for giving this time today. Thanking our Gurus and the Divine to guide us through. And holding on to this feeling of gratitude as a day passes by. Gently rub your palms together, cupping them onto your eyes with a few blinks. Gently massage your face, slowly open your eyes. And thank you so much for joining in today. And I hope you have a nice, short and sweet. Powerful yet relaxing practice. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.